So you want to take all the power you get from Yak and transfer it over to a Slack channel? Easy. Let's go ahead and find out how we can connect the two using our Slack integration. So first things first, we're going to want to go to yak.com forward slash Slack. This will take us to our Slack integration page, and you'll see this neat little add to Slack button. Once we click that, we'll be asked to give permission to the Yak and Slack integration into our workplace. Once that's clicked, you'll immediately be sent a test Yak, which popped up right here. Let's click that. And on this message, it'll ask us to connect our account. Let's go ahead and do that. We click cool, link my account. Insert our Yak email here. Enter the six digit code that we get. Paste it into there, click submit. And now that we're logged into our account, all we have to do is configure some settings. So here it asks us if we would like to receive notifications. Now, if you're part of a team, even though I might be the admin, I'm not actually setting any settings for the rest of my team. So each individual person would have to decide whether or not they want to receive notifications. I'm going to click this drop down box and click yes, please. Now over here in our messages tab is where all of the yak messages that involve me, whether it be a channel that I'm inside of or a one-on-one -on -one message inside of yak will show up. And about tab is just a little bit about yak itself. Some things you can do inside of it. Another button where you can click configuration and configure some of the permissions that Yak has inside of the workspace. And a app homepage button where you can visit that and send this link over to your teammates to add the same integration to their own workspaces if they have one. When you receive a new message from Yak, you'll be given an alert through the notification system, the transcript, and the listen button. From here, if you click this, you'll be given the option to listen in the browser, or it'll prompt you to open up the app to listen from there if you'd like. Lastly, since each one of these yaks have transcriptions to them, it makes everything searchable. So for example, if we remember that this message was a little bit a while ago and we wanted to remember what I said, and we remember vaguely what was in the message, all we have to type in is, hey there, and we can see that this message appears in the search results. And if we click it, we'll be sent and directed to it immediately inside of Yak. 